In this lesson, we're going to talk about somatic hypermutation, which is sort of a complicated and obscure sounding term, but in some ways it might be the most important part of the whole immune system. And maybe you're a huge fan of T cells or you just love neutrophils and you think I'm an idiot. But somatic hypermutation is how you make antibodies that can detect anything, and so I think it's incredibly important. And so to talk about somatic hypermutation, we're back at the training center where archers hone their craft with precision and focus and perfect their aim and technique. And that idea of honing and perfecting is what somatic hypermutation is all about. So to be a little more specific, somatic hypermutation is a process in which point mutations are randomly introduced into the B cell receptor in order to produce a hugely diverse array of receptors with different antigen binding capacities. And we've drawn in these hyped up B archers to represent somatic hypermutation. Now, do you see how they're circling back and forth between the dimly lit dark bunkhouse and the bright sunlit yard? That's because B cells travel back and forth between the dark and light zones of germinal centers in secondary lymphoid organs. They do that traveling back and forth once they've become activated. They undergo proliferation and somatic hypermutation in the dark zone, and then come out into the light to test out their new mutations. And like I said, this is all about honing and perfection. Good isn't good enough here. So B cells that can bind to antigen with good affinity keep cycling until a B cell receptor is created that has a strong and more specific affinity for the antigen. That's a process called affinity maturation.